Sasa, uh, Faraj Namimi, we're just taking a walk. It's early in the morning in Kibich, and we're uh, going to the industrial area. As a matter of fact, everybody's moving out between 5 and 7, p 7 o'clock in the morning. We've already had our, our, our chai, eco stress free mini hotel, Karibuna, Carolina, for Kibera. Nanakuna, walking stick. Walking stick uh, need dual purpose. Kwasababu, uh, uh, it's good to walk, but it's also uh, uh, security kidogo. <laughs> Not that you need security because once it's light out, everybody's just moving. Um, and then you can see on the other side here that this is uh, Laini Saba Market, and the train actually passes even though the market's um, uh, very close to the tracks. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, we're having a walk. We are heading to industrial area, and actually behind us, many folks walking around, heading to the places of work, and that is the daily routine that's normally being carried out. And, and wh why do they walk instead of taking matatu? Actually, this is the cheapest means and the cheapest route so far. So, how much is matatu to industrial area? Okay, matatu tends to be at around a half a dollar, yeah. that is roughly 40 shillings. Yeah. But walking is much cheaper and consumes time because of jam and stuff. <laughs> and good exercise. Yeah, good exercise too, to keep the body fit. And, and how long do you think it'll take? Okay, walking, walking uh, takes roughly 20 to 30 minutes from here to the solar area. Sawa. Alright, so we've just walked the, the, uh, the expanse of Kibera. It took us 35 minutes. We were only stopping a little bit, so that's not too, too bad. And right now we're at the end of Kibera and we're about to head into the industrial area. We're doing this to save a little bit of money because it cost us 20 shillings to, to get to uh, the industrial area from Kibera. Plus we wanted to see how uh, a lot of uh, Kibera gets to work each day. So actually it's a, it's a good advantage for you if you live at the edge of Kibera because you can save almost 30 minutes each way from walking. Sawa, sawa. Oh, we walked uh, at least for five minutes, and now we are almost reaching uh, the solar area. Way past two to twenty minutes, we'll be through. And actually, this is the actual system that's happening in Kibera, whereby guys have to trek daily in order to get their daily bread, and also on the other hand to make ends meet because of higher cost of fuel, bad economy in our country, so it leading to all of this. And what do you think about uh, Mbagathi Way? What is this place, what is it like? Okay, the way is actually acute and fine because of trucks moving up and down. Yeah. And also gives the uh, persons on foot a little way to move from one point to the other. Yeah, any uh, no pollution, the uh, noise pollution. Yeah, actually, there's noise pollution, and that's <laughs> very normal in Kenya. <laughs> and yeah, that's and we can hear some of it. Sawa, sawa. And the diesel fumes are bad. Sawa. You can barely even see the city center. There's actually a lot of smog today. Oh, sure.